Hello, very round man. How do you do? Is it true what they're saying about a murderer at Red Hot Manor? A murderer in our little village. The very thought gives me goosebumps. And a great idea for a novel. Oh, excuse my insensitivity. I'm just always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help? We're looking for Ra for Raymond. Have you seen him around? Hmm. No, I can't say that I've seen him today. But if your search around town has turned up nothing, he's probably at the park or in the tower. You know, somewhere the villagers don't normally go. The tower, huh? Oh, you should stay as far from the tower as possible. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. It sure seems that way. We keep running into people who say that. Just what are the rumors? Just, you know, bad stuff. Wow, helpful. There's something really scary about that tower. But no one will tell us. At all. Neat. <laughs> hey there. You've been pretty busy solving puzzles, yeah? If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least 12 puzzles first. How many have I solved? More? It looks like you've already done that. Hmm. Well, I guess I just lied to you then. If you really want to pass through here, you're going to have to solve one more puzzle. <laughs> I'm a liar. I have no idea how many puzzles I've solved. I think I might show you on the map, though. I think it's listed somewhere. The dice below look normal enough, but if you, do if you look carefully, you can see a pattern start to emer emerge. You know the following, A equals 0, B equals 9, C equals 6, so what does D correspond to? Zero nine six. Is it a clocks? Midnight, nine o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock. I'm so smart and fast on the uptake every single time, especially when I'm right, which I am. Okay. <laughs> Question mark? Yeah, that's exactly what the idea is. Alright. Way to go. You've earned it, mister, so come on through. Are you still after that scary cat? You're looking for one of the Reinhold's employees, employees now. He's a man by the name of Raymond. Or Raman, we're not sure. You haven't seen him about, have you? Raymond, huh? Uh, yeah, I think I might have. Oh gosh, where'd I see that guy? Uh, maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy, she's standing under the clock tower. Terrifying eyeballs. Would you like to- oh. Hi. We can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town! How exciting! I can't wait to see what's in store for us there. Ah, terrifying child. Stop. Existing. Please. Eyeballs. Ugh. In? In what? Haha. <laughs> the finish on this frame is just lovely. Yes, it's basic, but it does the trick. So at least you don't complain about this one, I guess. They both organize their rooms differently. I'm gonna continue exploring town. Just to see if any of the other people around town have dialogue for me. New puzzles? Bit this shown? Hello there, gentlemen. Uh, I've got a doozy of a puzzle on my hands here. Why don't you give it a go? Of dust and dustpan. 
As you can see, what we've got here is some trash and a dustpan made of matchsticks. Can you move two matchsticks to change the picture so the dustpan is holding the trash? Um... I did. That should do it. I did it rotationally. Look at me go. The trick is didn't have to face the same direction. Oh yes, it's just as I suspected. The first time I laid eyes on it, I knew you were a man who knows puzzles. A rug. Raring to try another puzzle. Oh, nothing gets my heart racing like a passionate man. Unfortunately, I don't have any good puzzles right now. But you check back later. Okie dokie. Bye. I'm so paranoid about where all the puzzles are hiding now at this point. Where could they all be? How would I know? Does my car have another puzzle? Who knows? Trust no one, especially not the puzzles. You know not what they wrought. Ah! What the heck is that sound? Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, I have just had it. Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling sir? I'm a young man. Ah, but never mind that, I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. I can't get a wink of sleep at night. Used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while, but recently it's been roaring non-stop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower, how am I supposed to sleep? Please, calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of any of that deafening din is? You know, now that you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I've heard that it's roar. It's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower, but who knows? It's probably not that. Uh, so, the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Well, but do you guys have puzzles? Ah. You're not a very nice person. Aha, Pazal. Uh, uh, hey there, gents. Out looking for something again? We were called to Saint Mystery to locate the Golden Apple. We came all the way from London. We got we keep getting sidetracked by unrelated matters. We haven't made any progress in our investigation. Sorry to hear things aren't going smoothly. Well, if you like puzzles, you like puzzles, don't you? You'll fit right in here. I'm breaking a sweat here, trying to keep things together. Would you mind helping me out with a problem? I have some milk I need to divvy up, but my measuring cup seems to have grown legs and walked away. Do you have any ideas how I might get myself out of this little pickle? Really? Are we doing this three jugs again? We are. On the counter, we have a 10 quart pitcher of milk, an empty seven quart pitcher, and, a, uh, and an empty three quart pitcher. The pitchers are unmarked, and your task is to divide the 10 quarts of milk so that both the 10 quart and the seven quart pitcher are each holding exactly five quarts. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bing bing. Bing bing. Hmm. Put that in there and then that in there, then it'd be the equivalent of just having done that in the first place, so it'd be a waste. 
I guess this maybe wasn't the first, the best approach to start this. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. that one and there we get seven and that could become a three but that there I get a four and that could become four three three which is where I was already so it's not very helpful uh, I'm not about to get a very high score What is my plan? Mm hmm. There's only so many choices you can make, so I'm just I'm missing a branch somewhere. It's probably a shortcut of like like a trick of how to solve these if you just like like based on what the numbers are. There's probably a method. But I've never really gotten there. How am I going to get to five? That a four, and then that'd be three and three. Keep getting back to the same numbers. a bunch and now I can finally start on those scones there must be some way I can return the favor well being a restaurant and all come by and eat whatever you like it's on the house I 
I thought I got a text message that might be important, but it's just spam. All right. Well, <laughs> you got a strange gizmo. Like, I have plans tomorrow, so what if it matters? It doesn't matter. Oh, that was bigger than I thought it was. That's the entire butt. Are you looking for Franco's bridge crank? I heard it went missing. He's been sulking pretty hard. Franco is a thick-skinned guy, but that bridge is his life. I've never seen him so down in the dumps. Dude got a bridge and he went and made it his entire personality. One might say that was a bridge too far. Ha 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 Cat? What are you doing, punk? Look at that cat, Professor. It's not Claudia, is it? No, no, on second thought, it is a different cat. Luke. It doesn't even look remotely like that character. Yes, it's an alley cat, judging by... Yeah, the, the, the alley breed of cat. And judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, a rather mean one at that. I, dude's gotta eat, but also, yeah, cats are really mean, just in general. They are not kind to mice when they catch them. Either I've definitely seen them catch and release on purpose, just to fuck with them for a while. Ah, yes. Luke, speaking of mice, have you heard this one before? Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. Which is important because they're breaking their necks, so gotta, gotta stay ahead of that curve. The time, of, the type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing twelve babies at a time. Baby mice mature and can give birth two months after they are born. You picked up on these. Uh, you picked up one of these darling baby mice at the pet shop and brought it home the day after it was born. In ten months from now, how many mice will you have? Zero. What? I've let you down, Professor. No, I'm right. No, nah, game. You can't be a smartass in your question phrasing and then actually have flaws in your question writing and other questions so that I'm right, but I'm wrong. You picked up one mice. Mouse. One of these mice. Guess what about the mammals? They gotta do a fuck in order to have a baby. And so if you got one mice, and you, it, it, you even said baby mice, which means it's not mature yet, which means it's not already pregnant, it's a baby, which means the whole question is bunko. You've had multiple questions where the premise of the question is a trick for a big, like, ha ha, you gotta light the match first. You, you picked up one baby mice, and that's it. You, there's no part of the question where you say you have another mouse that is a male or something. Also, are we assuming every- wait. I- wait, my brain's breaking a little bit. Is this question assuming that mice are like- they- 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 they divide like cells? <laughs> like- I think they're trying to imply that a mouse will mature in two months and then just poop out 12 babies every month forever. How many of these mice are male and how many of them are female? Am I supposed to do the math on the 50% and just assume? Am I supposed to assume that 50% of the babies are male and female, even though we never established there was a male and female baby in the first place? Let's see, it's only 10 months. The mouse shouldn't be dead, right? 
How long did mice live? I think it's like a couple of years or something, maybe. It's not super long, I don't think, but I don't think it'll be a baby is gonna be dead in ten months. Most likely. This sounds like a lot of math. But also like kind of a mess of math. No further advice? Okay. Okay. Let's overdo it, probably, or something. Okay, so. Month one. One baby. Month two. One baby. I need a little more space here, and I. One month old. Month three. W one baby. Two month old. Okay, so. They can give birth two months after they're born, so... I'm just gonna take that... I'm not gonna talk about incubation or pregnancy. They seem to just say two months after they're born, they make babies. Okay, so one... Adult... Twelve baby. <laughs> Month four, one adult, twelve baby, twelve youth. I'm just gonna call them that instead. So a youth is a one month old. That's what we're gonna call them so that I don't have to keep phrase writing down how many months old they are. So the ba so the the first baby these twelve babies became youths, and then this adult put out another twelve babies because they do that every month apparently. Look look at them go! All right, so month five here's where math starts going messy. Thirteen adults, twelve baby, <laughs> twelve youth. Except not, because now it's. The twelve. I, I, I before I, I assumed that the ma that the moment they hit their second month and become adult, they immediately become that many babies. So thirteen times twelve. Let's see, thirteen times twelve is one hundred and fifty-six baby. That's a whole lot of baby now. Look how much baby. <laughs> This is dumb. Uh, also, if I make a single mistake in my interpretation of the question or any part of the math, then this entire thing gets catastrophically wrong very quickly, and we cannot repair that problem. Immediately, I think I'm doing something wrong because the answer is three digits, and I think this is going to be a four-digit answer pretty quickly, so... Mm. <laughs> Month six. Ah, uh, fuck, this is gonna be a, a wreck, so... Uh, 25 adults... 12 times 20... Shit. This can't be right. Times 25. 300, baby. Uh, 156 youth. <laughs> Uh, uh, this can't be right. All right, uh, 156 plus 25 is 181 adult. I'm just gonna do space bars now at this point. Uh, 100, 
181 times 12 is 2172, baby. And then, uh, this is 300 youth, because it's just, you carry it over from the previous row. <laughs> this is, uh, I already have too many digits, so this has to be wrong. But let's just fucking commit, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, it's about 481 adult. So 481 adult times 12 would make 493. What? I wrote, uh, I did plus 12. Uh, 481 times 12 is 5,702, baby. And then there's 2172 youth. At this point, I'm just gonna assume I probably made a uh, math error by now, too. So on top of being wrong about my interpretation of the question, I also probably, uh, fucked up somewhere. So it's like extra wrong. I'm just generally assuming that they probably don't expect the audience of this game to commit this hard to math. So I don't think this is what they meant by this question. But also I think I might be right in how this is basically what it would be. Except the fact that I should probably be only counting... Ha when, I, when I move things from youth to adult, I should probably only count half of them as women, which can then multiply and the other half is men that just go off in a different stack and don't count towards the exponential growth. So I'm exponentially growing like fat twice as fast as I should be probably. Uh, and what's not? Uh, 2653 times 12 is, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a 31,836 baby. And then uh, five, seven, seven, two, youth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're there, you guys. I can stop doing this soon. Fuck. Uh, uh, twenty plus five, seven, seven, two, eight, four, two, five, uh, uh adults times 12 equals 101,100, baby. And then, uh, 31,836 youth. <laughs> Alright, so 101, th it's still like, I'm, 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 the calculator's off screen. It's on my screen, but the way the video's cropped for phones, it won't show up in the thing, but it's fine. So 101,100 plus... Shit, I fucked up immediately. Alright, 101,100 plus 31,836 plus 8425 equals... One hundred forty-one, three hundred and sixty-one mice. I, I did it. <laughs> so anyway, there's three digits for the answer, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrap all this now. But there it is for posterity and sh whatnot. Fuck this. Okay, so let's reassess their framing of the question. Twelve babies. One. I think we're supposed to assume that this one mouse will give 12 babies for 10 months. So it's 120 babies. No. But it takes two months to mature. The first two months, so it's 12 times eight, right? So it's just 12 times eight equals 96. Is the answer 96? Nope. So what do you mean? I still, I still insist the answer's one. The answer's one. You get one mice. Is maybe zero if they don't live that long. I don't know. Uh, let's look at the hints. What, what is their thought process here? I don't. Uh, Cause I, I need to investigate. 
You may be thinking that you're going to be a lot of bothersome calculation involved in solving this puzzle, but you don't need to do anything complicated by the answer. Read the problem over carefully. Remember how many mice you started with? Have you considered how many mice you can expect given that number? One. Here, let me spell it out for you. <laughs> you need your mouse to become pregnant before it can give birth. What does the mouse need to do in order to become pregnant? I know! What? Wait, didn't I already do this? How does this sound? What? Yes. Didn't I wait? Roll back the footage. Didn't I do that? What did I what did I type in? What what did I type in? I What? I don't know what happened. I, that's what I thought in the first. What? Correct. Excellent work, Luke. A painting scrap. Sweet. I don't. I mean, I'll know in a minute when I check my footage, but I guess you guys know also. What? 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 I'm so good. That's. I know. I. I Okay, let me spell it out for you. We're two for two on the hint stuff not really helping in that. One, the first time I was so far off and dumb that the hints couldn't even account for how far off I was because <laughs> of how dumb my mistake was. This time I, I solved the answer. I solved it instantly. I'm like, <laughs> I get it. But then something happened. Anyway. Anyway.